What up guys, Jifty here, back at it again with another video and it's time. It's time to answer the old aged question. What is a scalper? There is three things I want to talk about today. First of all, the true definition of a scalper. Second, what is not a scalper. And third, what we can do as collectors to prevent more scalpers from appearing in the future. So first things first, what is a scalper? I think most of you are aware of what a scalper is. They take 30 of the same cars, like these folks right here, check that out. They're buying a lot of cars for in the USA, $1 each, and they're probably gonna resell it for 10 times the price because they know that these cars are valuable and a lot of collectors are going after these cars right here. But then there's some confusion when it comes to the true definition of a scalper because it does vary from one person to another. For example, if I buy 10 of the same cars and use the other 9 to customize some Hot Wheels car, is that is that considered scalping? Some of you might be nodding your head while some of you are like, Oh, hell no, 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 I'm a customizer. That's not scalping. I understand. That is the problem, you see. Some of you agree, some of you disagree. Thus, I have devised the four stages of scalping. Don't get me wrong, there are some good scalpers and bad scalpers. Alright, some of you are already confused. How can a scalper be good? Well, let me explain the four stages of scalping. Stage 1, the good type of scalper. I'm not quite sure what to call these scalpers are. Maybe I don't consider them as scalpers at all, but you get the idea. What these people do is they buy 10 of the same cars, they keep them, and what they do is they trade them away with other collectors. If they want to resell it, maybe they'll sell it for just one or two dollars more instead of selling it for five times the price, that kind of thing. They like to help other collectors out. They're not in it for the money. They're not in it for the profit. They're in it for the collection. These type of scalpers, this is scalpers because they're, I like to use the word scalpers for bad people. These are the type of scalpers that we need more in our community. We need more people to be helping each other out and not reselling cars just for the profit. Stage 2, the buy everything for myself scalper. Okay, let me explain. So these type of scalpers, the stage 2 scalpers, they take 10 of the same car and keep it keep it for themselves. Why? Because they love that casting so much. For example, I'm a Ford Mustang fanboy and if I was a stage 2 scalper, I'll buy 10 Mustangs and keep them for myself. Why do I need 10 of the same cars? I have no idea why. I, I, I literally have no idea why some people need 10, 20, 30 of the same exact car in their collection. Just look at this guy right here. He, look at that, that, that row of cars. They're all the same exact cars. I mean, sure, if you love that casting, I have nothing else to say but respect. I have nothing but respect for that. But do you seriously need that much of cars even if you like that casting so much? I don't think so. I know some of you are screaming, but but but, but Drifter, I, I buy 10 of the same cars because I'm a customizer or I, I want to do something with them. Stay tuned later on, I'll explain I'll explain that point later. So stage one and stage two scalpers aren't that bad because there aren't any monetary value involved. But stage three onwards, this is things this is where things get kinda sick. So the stage stage three scalpers are called hoarder scalpers. Yes, I know it sounds like an oxymoron, but let me explain. A hoarder is someone who buys a lot of cars and a scalper is someone who sells a lot of cars. So you might be thinking, how can you have a lot of cars and sell away a lot of cars at the same time? Like, wouldn't they cancel each other out? Let me explain. So a hoarder scalper or a stage 3 scalper, which I would like to call, buys 10 of the same cars that they know is going to have some value. Some cars would be, for example, the, the 510 Datsun Wagon or maybe the Mazda RX-7. They'll buy 10 of those cars, keep it for themselves, and lock it away in a storage bin for like 10-15 years. So when the year, what, 2035 comes, where they know that the, the car is going to increase in value, that's when they take it out of the storage and resell it for an increased price. So what they basically did is buy the cars, keep it for themselves, wait for it to appreciate in value, and then resell them. I think I still consider, I consider this as scalpers because they buy the cars simply, they, just, just simply because they know it's going to increase in value. All right, all right. I know some of you are thinking like, but, but Drifter, I bought cars and I'm going to resell them in the future. Yes, I hear you guys. And I will admit, I have bought some cars myself uh, because I know they're going to be valuable in the future. So all right, don't worry, Drifter doesn't hate you because you're a stage 3 scalper. I will admit, I think there is a stage 3 scalper in all of us collectors. Ah, I can read your mind through the screen. Some of you are denying it. You're like, no, Drifter, I am not a stage 3 scalper. I have no inner stage 3 scalper in me. Well, that's where you're wrong. I'm gonna say a small story and if you agree, if I see you nodding your head, 
press the like button. All right, so what's the story? So let's say you can travel back in time to year 2003. Why is that year relevant? Well, that's because that was when the Bugatti Veyron Hot Wheels was first released. Would you travel back in time to buy all the Bugatti Veyron's Hot Wheels, travel back to 2018 and resell them? Yes, precisely. See, I see you nodding your head. That's what I would do too. Because the Bugatti Veyron back then, all the collectors didn't expect it to skyrocket in price. It's selling for hundreds of dollars nowadays. So that's the thing though, like I, I will admit, if I could predict the future and say like, oh, this uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS is gonna skyrocket in future, I will definitely buy as much as I can of this car and you know, keep them for safekeeping. So yeah, I can't quite put my finger on the true definition of a stage three scalper. It's up to you to decide like what's good and what's bad. Last but not least, stage four scalpers, the deadliest scalpers of them all, are called idiots. So what do stage four scal I mean idiots do? Well, they buy 10 of the same cars and we sell them on eBay or Amazon for 10 times the price. These are the people that I hate the most, all right? And if you're a stage four scalper, screw off, unsubscribe from my channel. I don't condone scalping. I don't condone stage four scalping on my channels. I just find it really stupid. You know, that's the reason why collecting is so hard nowadays. People buy the car and we sell them because they want to get some profit. You know, the reason why I also call them idiots is if they want to earn money so bad, they can just invest in something else. Hey, I heard Bitcoin is raising in price. Maybe they should buy some Bitcoin and earn some money from that instead. High risk, high reward, right? I don't know, stage four scalpers are Idiots. I don't think I need to explain further why stage 4 scalpers are idiots. You get the idea. Make sure you don't support them. Don't buy from stage 4 scalpers. So now that you know the 4 stages of scalping, let me explain to you guys what isn't scalping. Firstly, as I mentioned earlier, you might be a stage 2 scalpers and buying 10 cars for yourself. But the catch is, you might be a customizer. So. Is being a customizer scalp. Of course, no, no, I don't even know why I have to talk about this. You're not a scalper if you customize Hot Wheels cars. When I posted this question on Instagram, some people were quite worried like, oh no, am I a scalper if I'm a customizer? Definitely not. If you're buying tens or twenties of Hot Wheels cars purely for customizing, that is them. That is, that, that's definitely fine. In fact, I actually approve customizing. I think customizing is one of the coolest things ever. In fact, I think customizers sometimes does a better job uh, designing cars and customizing cars than the actual Hot Wheels cars that Hot Wheels release instead. So yeah, keep on customizing my fellow Hot Wheels customizers. The second inquiry you might have is, are you considered a scalper if you buy more than two cars? Once again, as I mentioned earlier, normally it's just best to keep one car carded and keep one car loose. I mean, two cars, isn't that enough? Well, I don't know. If you ask me, I'm not quite sure if you're considered a scalper if you buy more than two cars. If you ask me, I think the most you should have for the same car is five. One for one carded, one loose, one to play with, one, one is an extra, and one to maybe trade away in the future. But more than five, I think it's just a bit too much. But 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 that's just my opinion. I am just a guy on your I'm just a guy on your screen telling my opinions. If you collect more than five, don't worry, I don't hate you or anything, I don't consider you as a scalper because once again, there is no true number to determine how many you, how many cars you need to buy to consider yourself a scalper. So once again, to reiterate, that's just my opinion. I think five is just enough, all right? But once again, if you collect more than five, I have no problem with that. So it's time for the million dollar question. What can we do to stop scalpers? Well, Drifter doesn't have the definitive solution, but there are some things we can do as collectors to stop them from surfacing in the future. The first obvious thing you can do is to not support them. Yes, yes, I know. You really want to buy that yellow Ford, no, Ferrari F40 right here with an opening rear hatch. But it's going for $100. So should you buy it? The clear answer is definitely not. Because if you're going to buy from the scalper, you're just, going, you're just going to encourage him to scalp in the future. And it's a never-ending cycle. The buyer buys from the scalper, the scalper buys the items, the buyer buys the items, and the cycle repeats. So the first thing you can do is cut it off. Don't start a cycle with a scalper. Don't support scalpers. If you know that the car is going for a ridiculous price, don't buy it from them. That's the first thing you can do. Second thing you can do is offer a trade. If you see a car that you really want but it's going for a steep price, maybe the scalper, or actually in this instance, the person might be a collector that's just selling it for a high price. 
is looking for another car, maybe you can offer a trade. Maybe both of you are looking for some particular super treasure hunt. And if you do a trade, not only will both of you be happy, but this will also prevent scalpers from earning money. You know, like you can trade a car with this person instead of spending $100 on that Ferrari F40 that you really wanted. Third thing you can do is have a Hot Wheels buddy. In my five collector tips, I suggest that you should always have some Hot Wheels friends. Go to Facebook groups, Instagram groups, see whoever lives near you. It's good to have friends, you know, so that if you're looking up, if you're looking for a particular car, you need not buy them from a scalper. Instead, you can buy them from a friend. The fourth and final thing you can do to stop scalpers is to spread the message. I'm not necessarily asking you to share this video with your friends, but perhaps share with them some tips you learned in this video. Tell them to not buy from scalpers, always have some friends, tell them what cars they're looking for, and yeah, just spread the message. I know it's kind of cheesy that I'm just a small YouTuber, I might not have the power to stop scalpers completely, but hey, if this video stops at least one scalper, if I make one scalper quit his scalping job, I will be happy, you know? So I know we're just a, we're just a small community, the Drifter Gang, but I think if we stick together, stand together, and just stop buying from scalpers, prevent them, stop them, I think we might have the power to change the Hot Wheels collecting landscape. Yes, I know it sounds cheesy, but trust me, it's the small things that count. In my power, I will do something though. In the end of my videos, maybe excluding some like quick review videos or quick videos, I'll be showing this image for a few seconds before ending the video. This is just to this is just a small little thing to prevent scalpers or prevent you guys from buying scalpers. Say no to scalpers. Just a small little thing, not a big deal. But yeah, I'm just gonna put this in the end of every video. And that's it guys for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a clearer definition of what a scalper is and you know learn some tips on what to do what to do and how to deal with scalpers. As usual, I read every single comment. So Tell me in the comments below of your thoughts and opinions on this video on scalpers. I'll reply to some of them and whatnot. So yeah, come on, let's start some conversation in the comments section below. But yeah, that's it guys for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys missed out my previous video, click right here. Or if you guys want to see the 5 Hot Wheels tips, click right over here. Don't forget to subscribe to both of my channels. And always say no to scalpers. Bye-bye.